It's me, Carly. My new friend, Celia, is a very special friend. Her mom and dad have the same problem as my mom, addiction. When my mom was having a hard time, I had lots of big feelings. I felt like I was the only one. But now, now I've met other kids like Celia, and we can talk about it together. We also talk about making art and playing at the playground, and she told me all about her family. My name is Celia, and I am 10 years old. In my family, I have my three sisters, my mom, my dad, and me. Kaya is six. Okay, all good. Faye is two. Fresh, fresh, fresh. And my baby sister, Levi, is nine months. When I was little, my mom and dad had to leave, and I had to stay with grandma and grandpa. My parents were struggling through a bad time with addiction. They had to go to a place to help them feel better. Addiction is a sickness. Addiction is getting too attracted to something, so you keep doing it over and over again. It makes people feel like they need drugs and alcohol to feel okay. And they can't stop doing it, and they aren't acting like themselves. They were gone for 60 days, but it felt like 60 years. When I was this age, you had to leave. Yeah, we had to leave for 60 days to go get help because we wanted you to have a good life. But first, we had to take care of ourselves so that we could do that. Mm -hmm. That's why Dad's so sad. Mm -hmm. In that picture. That's why I'm so sad. That's when Dad was drinking a lot. For any sickness, people need treatment to feel better. My mom and Dad got treatment, and that makes me feel happier for them. I remember the hard times, but I write down things that I feel inside. I can like express things. I like let my journal know first. When mom was getting help, I went with her to treatment and she taught me about meditation. She just told me to sit still and crisscross and breathe. And the most important thing is to focus on your breath. Something that helps is if you breathe in, counting to four, and then breathe out, counting to four. You're just gonna follow my voice. I just would sit there with my mom, and then we would both imagine that we're at the beach. Breathing in again. And then we're just walking along the sand, and then the waves just hit our feet. As you're walking down the beach, what do you see, Celia? I see the water, the sand, and the wind. Do you feel happiness, calm? Calm. Calm. I would get really angry when I was younger Whenever she told, she taught me about meditation, I just knew that I should just, just breathe, and then it would be better. I started to teach kids meditation when mom and me were at her treatment place. What meditation means to me is to be more peaceful and more aware of all your surroundings and to help you relax and be able to breathe. And the goal is to sit as still as a frog, like my frog assistant, Mr. Hopper. It feels good to help other kids who are going through what I went through. Take in another long breath, let it out slowly and feel even calmer. Sitting still like my frog, Mr. Hopper, when you are ready, Give yourself a big stretch and open your eyes. Kids and their moms need time to breathe and relax because they're stressed and may be having big feelings. Mom says it's good to talk about any big feelings I have and they're all okay. I started doing art when mom and me were at her treatment place. 
Sometimes I draw pictures that show my feelings or show things that happened. Playing is important. Mom says our main job is to just be kids. My parents help us stay safe. They say they work very hard to stay healthy so that our family stays healthy. Now that mom and dad are in recovery, we can do fun things together like going to the beach. I find so much stuff in the water like shells and like littler creatures. I'm proud of mom and dad for asking for help and not using drugs or alcohol anymore. And they're proud of me for just being me. Going through tough times is harder for families, but when they get to the end of it, they end up stronger.